Welcome to MPA's virtual fitness class. Through its wellness program, MPA provides one hour and 30 minute fitness workouts. We encourage you to join in any of the scheduled classes. All classes are recorded, so if you missed the live class, check out the MPA website. Select the wellness program page for the links of previous class videos. Have fun working out. Here's Milan. Hi right, guys, welcome back, welcome back. So um, we're gonna pick up where we left off yesterday, which is really awesome. Um, I said that we're gonna be getting into our stretch today. So we're gonna get in that hip because I am feeling awesome with my knees today. I woke up this morning, beautiful, beautiful morning. I actually woke up twice. I woke up around three o'clock, no, probably around four, maybe around five, and then around uh, eight. So both times I got up, no problem with my back or knees. So just that quick, I told you the tendons give you a quick result. So I'm feeling awesome already. So let's get into these hips today. Let's get that back decompressed. So I'm just gonna come straight over. I should have got a side view. I always forget to turn sideways with you guys, but it's not a big deal. I just go. Come over the bag. Let's get that back a little bit loose because we're going straight into the hips. Because the, the, oh man, this good stuff. The uh, only thing now that we got to worry about being tight are those hips when we get into today's after, afternoon workout. Those knees are feeling awesome, but that, uh, even the hamstrings are feeling pretty good. But we still got those tight hips. And like I said, on a scale of 10 being, you know, hips being loose and having flexibility, I'm at probably a three and a half or four right now. There's still so much significant pressure. I love this bag for this alone. There's nothing else that's gonna be this firm that's gonna allow you to brace your body up against here. And then when I turn, I can literally wedge myself and use this to push off. There's just nothing else that's gonna be able to get that done. So I turn here and then I press with this inside arm here and I'm turning and I'm pushing at the same time. So I'm decompressing, elongating that spine and stretching it. Plus I can feel it on that hip as well. Oh. Now in some instances, we don't have the scary stretch, you know, like when we were on the stool. It's higher up, I guess, because I'm more at 90, but this right here uh, engages that right there. It is the scary stretch of all scary stretches right there on that right hip. Oh man, and it's unacceptable. We want that to be gone and we're gonna target that right now so that we don't have any of those issues when we get started today. I do not like that. So we're gonna get started with the left hip first. And because this is not something that needs to be crazily warmed up, um, we can get straight into it, which is awesome. So I want you to put the hip right there on that ball joint, right on that hip bone. That's called a ball joint. Stop calling it your hip bone. It's actually your ball joint. And you just wanna come with your feet stacked. See how my feet are stacked? Just like that. Now the, the top leg, this one might start to float like this above when you lean the um, torso down, it might start to float, let it float. It'll eventually, as range of motion comes, it'll actually start to rest again. So come on down to your elbow. Ooh, and try to relax as much as you can. Don't try to fight to keep your fist up. Your, your abs, don't try to engage those abs at all because that's bad. And what we're doing is releasing that hip. So I'm just talking you through it right now. And I want you to rotate forward and then back all in that same kind of space. Oh, just in that same space, not too much range of motion. Don't have the foot become unstacked. Just keep it right there in that range of motion where the foot stays stacked on top of the other one. Oh. Oh. All right, now if you can get that shoulder down. Beautiful. See how my foot is just kind of early staying on in contact with the other foot. And I'm not pushing it down. I'm just letting gravity do its part right now for 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, all oh, 6, 5, 4, 3, 
two. Try to keep that foot as even as you can. Now bring that top leg behind the bottom leg. Ah, just slide it back. Ah, for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Oh, bring it back. Oh, come on up gently. Was that intense or what? Come on around, swing it forward. Oh, my goodness. Oh, and just let it relax. Bring that intensity down. Oh, my goodness. I might have got a tear on that one, guys. A little, little teardrop. Not from crying, just, you know, I got dust in my eye. Oh, and push and turn. This is going to be awesome when you get to your uh, roll out to your bag after this. I mean, your foam roller after this. Oh, God, your foam roller is going to be in heaven. All right. Now let's go to the other side. All right. Now, same thing. Put that, <clears throat> that hip right there on top. Just like that. Oh, I can tell you right there, this is going to be a chance. My feet are stacked. All right. Then I come down to my elbow. Mm. That's already intense on this hip. I can tell you this foot is going to float. Most definitely that foot is going to be up here like this. I can guarantee you that on this hip. Oh, man. Just keep those feet stacked and rotate a little bit. As long as that foot stays stacked, you can rotate. Oh my goodness, so much pressure. It's amazing how much the hips hold, right? We really gotta up our hip game, guys. We're focusing on those quads and those hams now, isolations. Now we gotta start focusing on these hips because this is an absolute mandatory. But yeah. From the hip, come on down to the shoulder. Ah, and I got a floater. I got a floater for 20, 19, 18, 17, one, slide that foot, that top foot behind. <sighs> ah, for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Ah, rotate. Ah, take that pressure off. <sighs> oh, my goodness. Turn to the side and push off opposite side. I'm sorry. Turn and push for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Oh, that'll take so much pressure off of your back once we get those hips loose. Once those hips are loose, you're going to be feeling like a new man, new one man, a new new man. Oh, you're going to feel so good. I know I'm looking forward to it, and I want to get it done. All right, roll it back. Hydrate. Now it's time to go backwards. I don't think we've done this one. Reverse extension. I don't know if we've done that yet or not. <clears throat> Reverse extension. I'm not sure. So we're going to get into it right now. And then we're going to get into the actual uh, ball joint itself. All right. Now let's go reverse, guys. So what you're going to do now, <clears throat> and I don't know if you've seen me do this on a yoga ball or not. That's my absolute favorite. This one's a little bit easier for the simple fact is the ball doesn't move half as much, and you're nowhere near as high off the ground. Up on the ball. Uh, Head on the ball, head on the ball, or on the uh, 
bag. You're going to roll. Uh, we're going to do this in two parts. First part is the upper. And the last part is the hip. So we're going to roll until we, our head touches the ground. Right. We're going to hold that pelvis in place and then slowly start to let that pelvis drop. Oh, you feel that open? That back is in love with you right now. And try to relax as much as you can for 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, roll it forward. Oh. Yes, again, you are so welcome. When you invert the heart, you gotta understand what has to happen. For the first three to five, up to, I say up to eight minutes, I haven't done it eight minutes, I've done about three to five, many, many, many times. A, it really does help clear the mind because understand what's happening with the blood. B, you're going against gravity, okay? So now all the organs that are set to be gravitationally pulled are now all of a sudden in this reverse mode getting a hundred percent relaxation by just being themselves so you're inverting them and through the inversion that you are giving them a hundred percent relaxation so now what we're going to do is we're going to isolate that and we're going to do it just to the hips this is really 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 good for um i i've learned this a long time ago when i was taking tai chi this is really great for digestive so if anybody um after you know, you have digestive issues or anything like this. And I feel we're pretty comfortable. We're friends now. We can get into certain things. So you're going to go elbows down first. Oh, yeah, that feels amazing. Just let that pelvis rest. Oh. Even when you're seated, you got to understand you're still firing from your torso. So your obliques and everything are still working, even though you're sitting down. That's why we lie down to sleep so that none of that is engaged. Now, come on back, right? And now you're gonna let those elbows slide underneath you. Oh, just let the back go. Yes, and go ahead and rest your shoulders on the ground. Your neck is nice and secure, okay? You see those hips are pointing up in the air and then let those legs go straight and then deep breath in and relax. Let those feet flop out to the side. Let those hips open up from the abductor in the hip flexor all the way through to the top of the hip girdle just opening that body the way it naturally should be through a natural range of motion for 20 19 18 17 16 15 14 13 12 11 10 9 8 7 6 5 4 3 two, one. Now stay in the position, walk the legs in gently. Okay, now you see that pressure is completely gone now. Now what I want you to do is take it one step further with the pressure release. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna take that left leg and you're gonna bring it into your chest. And then you're gonna extend it up through the heel, dorsal flexing your heel and straight up. Just like that. Make sure you're not flexing at the knee. Make sure that knee is nice and relaxed. And you're just going to bring that stretch all the way in. Now, what you're going to do with this extended base leg, you're going to extend it all the way out. Just like that. So now we're in the largest stride. It's a stride stretch. Inverted stride stretch. Beautiful for a good 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Beautiful, bring that knee and bring that leg down. Beautiful, bring the other leg in, bring it into the chest, extend it out and extend the base leg out. Oh, that beautiful stride stretch. Good, 10, nine, eight, Seven, six, five, four, three, 
two, one. Beautiful. Right down, bring both in. Now, how do you get out of this safely? Whichever is your favorite side, okay? So if I'm gonna go to my uh, left, so I'm gonna scooch over to my right, right? And I'm gonna take my right leg, bring it into my chest, and I'm gonna place my right leg on the outside, which is another beautiful stretch. Let's do both sides of this before we dismount and bring that leg over just like that. And it may float again, depending on your range of motion. You may have a floater, you may not. As you can see, I got a floater. Beautiful. And 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, Three, two, one. Good. Bend at the knee first and then bring it back down. All right. Same thing, other side. Wash, rinse, repeat. Bring the knee in. Good. Bring it over. Oh, I'm all the way on the other side. I forgot. Let me slide back to the middle. Oh, right there. And then bring that knee in. And then over. Let's see if I got a floater on this side. And it looks like I got a floater on both sides. And nice 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3. Two, one. Ooh, that stretch is quality right there. And then bring it in, bend at the knee here, bring at the knee, bring it in, and then swing it over to your 90 degrees, then bring it down. So now I'm going to dismount to the left. So I'm going to slide back over to the right. Okay. I'm going to bring that right knee into my chest. Bring it over. And as you see, I'm this normally I would keep this leg straight and extended as I come over. I'm bringing that leg with me. Okay. Rotating. Then I'm going to use my right hand to push myself up. Now I'm back where I was with my knees stacked, but now my knees are bent so that there's even less pressure. Okay. And then I'm just going to slide down. Simple as that. Don't go forward. You're creating more work. You're not going towards your butt your center of gravity, your most neutral position. Always slide back towards your glute, okay? Not towards your knee, because that would have been sliding out toward my knee. You want to slide back toward base, all right? Excellent work. Let's do that entire gambit one more time. All right. Whose back is feeling awesome right now? Everybody's? Okay, you're welcome. Cool. Let's get a quick drink of water. People are like, oh, why would I be thirsty? You get extremely thirsty. Just because you're, you're stretching right now, you're depleting. <clears throat> a lot of the uh, salts and things that are in that muscle that has been calcified and built up. So yeah, you need to hydrate. Oh man, that's good stuff right there. Oh, I just wish I could have something that's coming. Just push right on my back right now, perfectly straight down. Oh, that stretch is no joke right there. Isn't that sad? I don't know where your scary stretch is, but where you feel the most pressure, that's what I call it, and right there. All that stretching I do, and right there is the range of motion. This is where you would get hurt doing something. If I tried to lift something in that range of motion right there, that's my hurt. So, and I want to get rid of it. Ah, ah, ah. Oh, there we go. Ah, that's where I have my two herniated fists, though. Blew those out. I want to say skiing. I wasn't skiing yet. I was getting ready to go skiing. Blew him out sneezing. So, yeah, I wanted it to be a cool ski story. Almost was, but not totally. All right, so bringing that pressure in. Ooh, we might have some new pressure there just because we opened up those hip flexors and those abductors. So those nerves are sitting right up front right now. You know, it's kind of like when you smack your hand and then it stings. It has like that, that tingly feeling. 
Same thing is going on right now. So if you got a little bit more pressure up front right there on that hip flexor and abductor, don't bug out on it. It's just that we brought those to the forefront. I can tell you this has a significant lot less pressure, significantly. I would say from about a six to a one right now. Oh, yeah, that was excellent. This side, maybe from a six to a two. Oh, it's still significantly down from, from a six to about a one to a one to a two. So that's awesome. Oh, we make that kind of progress. Oh, up we come. Let's get that hip open. Let me stack from this side. All right, let's start from knees. We're working on anyway. And hip up. Make sure your chapstick's not in the way. That wouldn't be good. And stack feet on the elbow first. And make sure you stay in line. And if you get out of line, you get to going forward, it's gonna get a lot easier and you're gonna wonder why you're not getting that stretch. And then let's come back, keeping those feet stacked. And it's right, right there. Yeah, I feel exactly where you're coming from, buddy. All right, and back forward. Ooh, keep those feet stacked. I like to bring myself back this way and then try to put that elbow down. That way I know I'm staying true. Oh, yes, I'm staying true. Ah. That's more significant than the one when we do when we do the, uh, the hurdler stretch. And shoulder down. Oh, wow. My entire toe is on top of my foot. I think I'm a little bit forward, though. I must be cheating. Oh, there it is. Wow. 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, ah, 14, 13, 12. 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Oh my goodness. And then bring the foot behind. Ah, yeah. Just remember all this in two weeks to three weeks. And 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Oh. Come on up. Oh, I went in on that one. I really stayed true. I went in on that side. I really want this, guys. And I'm loving that you're seeing me from zero going to get to 100%. Oh, I really want this. To, this is, oh, I didn't go straight. You see that? Perfect example. Oh of having to release what you've done. Perfect example. You see me just try to come out of that and almost paid the price for my uh, oh, um, abductors. Yeah, my abductors went clunk. But they didn't get a chance. Look at what you're doing to them. You're stretching and opening them completely. And then you want them to contract really quickly so that you can go back to doing what you're doing. No, you got to have respect them as well. It's what they're telling you when you try to move quick like that. <clears throat> All right, they're saying respect me. And oh, I will, because you keep me upright. No argument there, abductors. All right, now coming 3D on you, stacking those feet again. Ooh, okay, I love this side. And just to look at where we are, this is week one, guys. And you hear me on and on, I guarantee you by week three, it won't be. <laughs> I got to make those sounds instead of you guys hearing me yell and, and say other things. So I got to make those Scooby-Doo sounds. And luckily, I keep remembering to make those sounds and not any other ones. So I'm doing pretty good, I think. Because some of these are H-E double hockey sticks tough. All right. Stacked, elbow, oh and rotate back, that's where all the pressure is. Oh, wait, and that is um, 
that's and that's pressure too. That's not a range of motion. That literally, when I put pressure and weight on it, that one, I feel that that's actual pressure. Yeah, buddy. I don't know about you guys' hips, but you see what I'm going through right now. And I'm telling you the truth. I keep it 100 with you guys. And I want you to see all these faces and all this noise I'm making. Because in three weeks, I'm not going to stop. And this is going to be gone. This is unacceptable for me to be at this level and my hips to be this tight. <sighs> but, you know, it happens. You drive. You live life every day. You sit on the couch. And this is what's going to happen, man. And if you don't address it specifically, you can do all the exercise you want. Even yoga doesn't address the actual hip. Pilates does a little bit, but nothing addresses the hip specifically. All right. And come on down. Bob Barker, baby. Ooh, I got a floater again. Stay true. 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, ooh, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, Nine, eight, oh, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Let that foot come behind. Oh, I just got to release just because of natural occurrences. Ah, and 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Oh, please remember to come up, turn. You do not want to do what I just did last time. Oh. Make sure you relax with they you just hyper stretched. Okay, that body's not used to doing that stretch in that way. Whenever do you open your hip up like that? So now you want to just go right back to it. The body says, I don't think so. You got to give me a minute. Oh, yes. And then again, no pressure. Arms, arms, arms. Stretch that lower back out just very ever so gently. That's just what it wants to be reintroduced. And then you're good to go. Okay, where are we at? Oh, uh, yeah, we are perfect. So please, guys, have your foam roller ready right now and go and ch change your hip perspective. All right? Get those hips open. I think we got a time for just one more hip opener. We got one minute. We'll go for the whole 60 seconds. We got time for one more hip opener. All right? I want this rollout to be super phenomenal. So when we come back today at 530, you and my knees are going to be ready to rock and roll. All right, come up. Support, support, support. Okay, then bring the support behind. All right, support, support, support. Back is not engaged at all, not even using the abs. Try not to even use your abs at this point, all right? No abs, all right? No abs as much as you can. Get those elbows down there, no abs. Abs being back. Nice, and come on down. Oh, God, I got all kind of snap crack on the top right now. Yes, yeah, 60 seconds right here. First 30 seconds, knees up. Last 30 seconds, knees down. And 25, 24, 23, 22, 21, 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, Five, four, three, two. This is one is a little bit more advanced, guys, but if you want to, this is where it's at. And 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. You want to get some taps in? Oh, just a little bit less looseners. And remember how to get out of it. Here, bring that knee. This leg stays here. I'm going to the left. Bring this knee in. Bring it over. Rotate. Slide on it. Decompress it. 
Then no engagement, bring it back and then see that. All right, guys, that's how it's done. You have to have technique so you don't hurt yourself in doing decompressive things like that and opening up those hips and joints like that. So please be careful. Please, please follow me. I'm pretty anal about this. My OCD is a good thing in this instance. So please follow me to the letter when I'm doing these. Um, I will guide you in and out of them without being hurt. All right, guys, get something to eat. Continue working, and I will see you at 5.30 to kick your butt. Thanks, Jasmine.